Okay, we have time buckets. For example, weeks, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And at the end of uh, week 13, we want to predict what would be the demand for week 14. And the actual demand in the past weeks have been 23, 22, 21 with a downward trend. We want to use regression analysis to, to forecast uh, what would be the demand uh, for week 14 at the end of week 13. This is what we do. We first create a scatter plot. Of the data that we have. Obviously, this is a downward trend. Then we add a trend line. Which by default is. A linear regression but we can also change it. Then when we go to the trend line, we can deal with its attributes. Uh, we can usually in this course, we use the linear regression. And the options that we have are more than simply that. For linear regression, we can ask Excel to tell us what is the equation on the chart. So now we have the equation of the line on the chart. And for to make it visible, I make it bigger. This is the equation for regression line. Then we implement that regression line in Excel here under the forecast column. I will say that my forecast is equal to minus zero four six four six seven multiplied by time bucket plus twenty two point six five four. Notice that now that this trend line is downward the forecast will go down as time goes down and basically about half a unit uh, demand is going down for every increase in X. The slope of the line is about 0.5. So now if I, this is unique to, uh, you know, uh, regression line forecasting because I can have forecast for not only for tomorrow, but for many weeks later. So I even can predict that in week 17, the demand would be 14 and it will continue going down. Uh, of course, in regression forecasting, as we go farther from the next time bucket, the reliability of the forecast goes down because we are assuming that this trend is going to continue not only in the next week, but in the next four weeks. And that may not be true, but we can have a forecast for longer periods of time. Good. 